Are Mexicans a half-breed? Let's talk about that. Obviously, as you know by now, I'm a quarter Mexican because my mom is half. The DNA tests through my heritage back that up on both my side and her side. Of course, her, my mother's grandparents moved from Mexico too. So, But absolutely, definitely, my mom's half Mexican and absolutely, definitely, I am a quarter. And it's funny because <clears throat> for my mom, she thought she was half Italian, half Mexican her whole life. Of course, as you know, the other twist. Turns out the Italian lineage, lineage was Middle Eastern and Jewish. And they, they married each other and came from Italy. And we thought they were Italian. But either way, the other half, she said, I'm half Mexican. And it's funny because it's almost a thing that doesn't exist, right? To be half Mexican. Because that's, that's a half breed in itself. From everything I've studied on the subject and proven with my own DNA test through my heritage and through my mom's, if you are Mexican, if you're 100% Mexican, what does that mean about you? It means that for the most part, you're going to be predictably about half Central American, which would be Central or Native American, uh, I'm sorry, which would be Mayan or Aztec, which there could even be traces of Native American in there, which means just, it's the same basic family line, but it stretches all through America. But either way, the Native American through North, Central, South America, right? That bloodline, you're half of that, and then you're half European, but the emphasis would be on Spanish. So you're these, you're, you're these mixed things, and the, so being half Central American, Mayan, Aztec, whatever you call it, and half Spanish, etc., from Europe, that is what makes you. So being Mexican is, it's not a race. It's a, it, being half Mexican almost doesn't exist because you're, it, it's, it's such an obvious mix. And I'm sure there are other uh, things to qualify in that same regard as far as a, <laughs> a modern day country that consists of, of half breeds. And I know a lot of the world has affected that to some degree, but I think Mexico is, is interesting in that it's so clearly half and half of two different, quote, races. And I understand race is a relevant term. But it's funny because it's just like, so, and someone was saying in the comments recently that, well, are Mexicans white or what are they? And to put it in perspective, as an American, we tend to look at Mexicans as a different race because they have darker skin and darker features and different physical features. They tend to be a little bit shorter and, and, and so on. But <laughs> the thing is though, if you're, you're still half European, arguably, you're around half European, so you're at least, so if we had someone that was completely Central American or Native American, for example, I mean, just to put it in a little bit easier, and they married someone who was English and they had an offspring, it, we would consider that a biracial marriage uh, or whatever. So that's really what it, how it actually works. But I think especially here in America, it's hard for us to see it that way. We just say, oh, they're in a different country. They speak a different language. They're a different race and they're a different nationality. In reality, Mexicans are half breeds. So even for me to say that I'm a quarter Mexican is pretty arbitrary because Mexican is a nationality, and then their ethnicity is largely a mix of two different, quote, races. So, please correct me if I'm wrong, but this is my understanding that Mexicans are actually a half-breed. That's basically, the, for lack of a better word, the best way I can word it. Please correct me if I'm wrong right here in the comments.